We continue here. We also are very pleased to see the dramatic results that you've achieved in the economic problems, the implementing the economic reforms in your country. And uh, we certainly want to be of help in that. We're committed to a leading role in 1984 in the multilateral assistance package. But we also value the military cooperation that we have. And I'm pleased to inform you of favorable response to your request for technical data on the U.S. jet engine. And I know that uh, Secretary Weinberger, who isn't with us here in this meeting, but he'll be very happy later on to fill you in on that. He's up on the Hill meeting with our congressman right now at their request. <laughs> happens to, <them. laughs> to all of us. So, but you must have some of the positives. You have to bring them all up. Uh, all the sources. We're very proud now that our entire military 
It's been a great pleasure for me and for all of us to have uh, or to be able to welcome President Espilyak of Yugoslavia and to confer with him on issues of importance to both our countries. Relations between Yugoslavia and the United States are good. President Spilyak's visit follows a long and well-established tradition of consultation and cooperation. The United States strongly supports Yugoslavia's independence, unity, and territorial integrity. Further, we respect its policy of non-alignment. Further, we respect this man who has done so much in these recent years for his country. Despite understandable differences, consultations between us provide a unique and valuable perspective and today's meeting was no exception. I express to the President our continued support for his government's efforts to meet its serious economic challenges. We'll do our part to help in cooperation with other Western governments, international financial institutions, and commercial banks. Vigorous economic recovery in the United States will itself help Yugoslavia by creating new opportunities for mutually beneficial commercial activity and the strengthening of bilateral trade. Yugoslavia, like other nations of Europe, hopes for progress in arms control negotiations between the United States and the Soviet Union. I convey to President Spiljak our deeper commitment to reach equitable, verifiable agreements with the Soviet Union. Such agreements would be in our interest, the Soviet Union's interest, and in the interest of all mankind. We're flexible and realistic in pursuit of this goal and share the President's hope that the negotiations will resume in the near future. Today, we also discussed the serious menace of international terrorism and underscored our intention to cooperate in opposing it 
wherever it occurs and for whatever reasons. The United States deplores all terrorist attacks against Yugoslav diplomatic, consular, and other representatives, and we will not tolerate such attacks on our territory. The American people join me in conveying our best wishes to the people of Yugoslavia for the success of this year's Winter Olympic Games, which will begin next week in Sarajevo. Like our Los Angeles Olympic Organizing Committee, the Yugoslav Olympic Committee has invested tremendous human and material resources in putting the Games together. As the two host countries for the 1984 Games, we have reason to be proud of these endeavors. It's especially fitting that in this Olympic year, we're signing a U.S.-Yugoslav tourism agreement. We hope that the agreement to be signed tomorrow will lead to an increase in tourism and goodwill between our two countries. President Spiljak has been an especially welcome guest. I look forward to frequent consultations with him, and I'm confident that our bilateral relations will continue to grow and flourish. It's been good to have you here. Želim prije svega da izrazim zadovoljstvo što mi se pružila prilika da posjetim Sjedinjene Američke države i da sa predsjednikom Reganom razmenim mišljenja o mogućnostima daljnjeg unapređenja naše bilateralne saradnje i o nekim aktuelnim međunarodnim pitanjima. First of all, I would like to express my pleasure with the opportunity to visit the United States of America and exchange views with President Reagan on the possibilities for promoting further our bilateral cooperation and on some important international issues. I would like to point out that the talks with President Reagan were held in a friendly and candid atmosphere of full mutual respect, which characterizes the relations between our two countries and peoples. President Reagan and I share the view that the practice of dialogue and meetings between the highest representatives of our two countries regardless of the well-known differences in our positions and views on some international issues, continues to greatly contribute to a better mutual understanding and stable cooperation in all fields of mutual interest. The principles of equality, independence, and non-interference as a mutually accepted basis for bilateral relations and cooperation were reaffirmed in our talks today. I'm glad to note that our talks confirmed once again that the overall Yugoslav-American relations have been developing successfully and that there exist ample possibilities for their even more comprehensive promotion in the long run. As President Reagan displayed the interest, I briefed him on the essence of the Yugoslav long-term program for economic stabilization. The achievement of our targets will offer a broader basis for an overall economic cooperation with all countries among which the United States of America is one of the most significant partners. In this context, I would like to emphasize that we attach great importance to the results achieved as well as to the prospects to further develop mutual economic cooperation in all areas. In this respect, special attention should be devoted to industrial, technological, financial cooperation as well as joint ventures. President Reagan reiterated the resolve of the United States administration to prevent the terrorist and other hostile activities against Yugoslavia, which are at the same time directed against the good Yugoslav-American relations and cooperation. I had a very useful exchange of views with President Reagan on pressing international issues. Thus, we acquired a greater knowledge of and gained a better insight in the positions and activities of our two countries on the international scene. We share the concern over the present dangerous developments and further deterioration of the situation in the world. We agreed that the policy of the release of international tensions and negotiation has no alternative. We, for our part, pointed in particular to the end to the need for strengthening international confidence and creating an atmosphere favorable for the renewal of dialogue as a precondition for the settlement of the acute international political and economic problems. I also informed President Reagan of our assessments of the East-West relations, the situation in Europe, and of our deep concern over the continuation of the arms race in particular. 
We presented our views on the problems of the relations between the developed and the developing countries, as well as our assessments of some acute hotbeds of crisis, such as the Middle East and Near East, Southern Africa and others. We pointed to the need of resolving them by peaceful means in compliance with the principles and purposes of the Charters of United Nations. Uh, in this context, we pointed to the activities and initiatives of the non-aligned countries at solving the outstanding international problems. Уверен сам да моја посета и плодни и задржени разговори со председниот Регано ќе дати нови потицаи и ја оштрестрани е развој и сарадња измеѓу нашите две земји, допринесечи тиме и ширен меѓународно разумење. I'm confident that my visit and the fruitful and meaningful talks I had with President Reagan will give a fresh boost to an even more comprehensive development of cooperation between our two countries, thus contributing to international understanding in general.